Hello all you sci-fi loving cosmonauts, as always I am Cosmic and today we're going to be reviewing Prey, the new action sci-fi thriller brought to you by Dishonored developer Arcane Studios and being published by Bethesda. Prey is of course a reboot of the Prey franchise. The original Prey was a very different game, it was a very different setting and it was something that actually at the time I held very dear to my heart. It was a fantastic game full of interesting and unique mechanics and the announcement of the reboot brought, for me at least, a degree of skepticism. I wasn't particularly keen on many of the changes that they made, many of the changes in terms of not only the story but the overall universe itself. Now finally we have the game and so let's get right into it to see if it is actually any good. And here's a spoiler, it bloody is and I am in love once more with Arcane Studios. I wasn't a big fan of Dishonored, I understand why people liked it a lot, I, it was just not something that really hit home with me, but this game is phenomenal from top to bottom. It is fantastic. The thing that I love about Prey is that it is essentially Bioshock in space. That is what Prey is. You can clearly see right off the bat the heavy Bioshock influences that have influenced not only the aesthetical design of the game but also the core mechanics and it's just something that hits the nail home perfectly. So the story of Prey places you in the role of Morgan Yu and you essentially wake up on a space station known as Talos-1 that is in orbit of the moon and you are in the middle of an experiment where you are the experiment E and things have gone horribly wrong on the station and an alien force known as the Typhoon have basically taken over the entire station and everyone is dying or dead and it's your job to basically find out what's going on uncover the mystery you yourself do not remember anything about what is going on so you're discovering it for the first time and i don't really want to give away this much of the story at all i think it was a fantastic really really solid story it was a really enjoyable narrative experience there were a couple of moments where i thought it was a little bit cliche there were a couple of moments where it was very predictable and i figured out what was going on probably way before the game intended me to figure out what was going on. Even with those moments though, I have to say it was a really enjoyable story. It is something that Bioshock fans in particular will absolutely love. The storytelling, the voice acting, the pacing, um, all the mysteries, the side objectives, as well as all the multiple little bits of information you can find in the world itself, like from emails and from notes, all work together to create a really interesting dark narrative as well as being really supported by the overall aesthetic of the game. Now speaking of the aesthetic of the game, I thought the game looked fantastic. It is a really enjoyable looking game. It has some fantastic environments, great lighting. I loved the zero G moments. I thought space looked fantastic. Um, and overall, visually, it was an absolute treat. There were a couple of issues here and there, very, very, very rarely, but I thought the polish and the overall quality of the visual design and the level design itself was top notch. That is also backed up by the amazing soundtrack, some wonderful 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 music in there that really supports this dark atmosphere as well like I said the voice acting is also top notch and I think as a package in terms of the audio and visual design it is absolutely stellar. In terms of the game's core mechanics you can there see even more of a Bioshock influence. It is a first person shooter at heart, it has RPG elements whereby you can upgrade your skills, learn new skills that will give you access to other things in the environment so you can learn hacking and be able to hack doors and computers, you can learn the repair skill and you'll be able to repair various devices and robots and use them to your advantage, you can specialise in combat, you can specialise in stealth and it really gives you the options to basically play the game how you want to play it. There's also craft 
crafting in the game whereby you pick things up from the environment, you can put them into a recycler which will give you a base element and then you can use those base elements to craft things that will help you um, in any kind of way. So you can craft things like ammo, you can craft weapons, you can craft med kits, whatever you want. And there's multiple blueprints scattered around Talos 1 that you'll be able to pick up and learn for new items to craft. The core combat also works solid and it does something that I feel works well within the confines of not only the narrative but also in the style of game. It is a first person shooter that gives you the tools to run and gun as you see fit but it's difficult enough to still have that survival horror element in there that it's trying to go for. It's about, you know, not being overpowered as all hell. You're going to come across enemies that you're going to have to be clever about taking down. You're going to have to use the environment to your advantage. You're going to have to ignite that oil on the floor. You're going to have to blow up that pipe to really get the advantage on the enemy. There's going to be some really tough boss battles in there as well. And the combat was very, very satisfying. I think it did very much remind me of a Bioshock-esque game in the sense that the combat was very Bioshock-esque, except it was much improved. But I have to say that the combat was very satisfying overall. There were a couple of problems in there. I thought that the character movement was a little bit jank at times. It didn't really give you enough of an option to really dodge out of the way of incoming attacks. It probably intentional no doubt to make it so that it was more survival horror style but i thought as an overall experience the combat was really solid and it was something that really held a nice balance between giving you the tools to really feel like a badass and being able to defend yourself against these horrible alien monsters but also limiting your power to the point where you never feel like you know, a Duke Nukem badass where you can just run and take anything down that you see fit. You're going to have to approach things carefully at any one time. And if you just run into a room with multiple Typhoon aliens in there, you're probably going to die before you're able to take them all out. So it's about approaching each encounter um, very carefully. And I loved that balance. And it was something that I felt coming into the game they needed to get right. And thankfully, they got right. Now, apart from the obvious Bioshock influence, the game does have a certain Half-Life 2 influence in there as well. Things like the glue gun, whereby it shoots foam that hardens, and you can use that to really affect the environment. So if you need to put out a fire, you can use the glue gun to put that out in fire. If you need to stem an electrical cord, you can shoot the glue gun at the electrical cord and stop the electricity from flying out everywhere. You can use the glue gun to basically create a stairway and into an area that you cannot reach. And I loved this freedom within Prey. I thought it was really clever. It was something that while it's, it, you know, it's obviously been done before, it was the combination of that and the rest of the game that I just found worked very, very well. There are multiple things within the core mechanics and the character progression that allow you to have multiple different guns. And a lot of those guns, especially the tech focused guns, will have advantages outside of combat as well. You also have the character progression system, like I've said, that enables you to really specialize in different areas as well as gain new abilities. And I have to say that overall, the game maintains a really good difficulty throughout as well. Like I said, it maintains a nice balance. You never feel overpowered. You always feel like you're in danger. There's a really nice, dark, oppressive atmosphere, a really claustrophobic atmosphere at times, especially when you're in the corridor sections. And I think as an overall product, Prey is a game that ultimately took me by surprise. It was a game that I was very skeptical of. It was a game that I was not really that interested in because it was so different from the original Prey. But after playing it, after going through the game, I could have not been more wrong. And I could have not been more happy to be wrong. It is the Bioshock game that I wanted since Bioshock 2. Infinite did not do it for me. And this is just a spiritual successor to Bioshock. It is absolutely fantastic. Ultimately, it comes down to this. It has a great story, it has great gameplay, it has great optimization, it has great polish, it has great visuals, it has great audio, and on all those accounts, just from the way this game has been, just at launch, never mind 
in future patches and future DLC and future content, just as this is at launch. It is a game that is a must for anyone's collection, especially if you are a fan of the Bioshock series. I think for me, Prey is easily in the running for my top three games of 2017 already. It is absolutely phenomenal. I have not had this much fun in a first person shooter probably in years and I have to say that I'm so glad that they made it the way they did. I'm so glad that I was completely wrong about the end product of Prey. I'm so glad that they rebooted the franchise. I think that it is an absolute phenomenal game that I will play through more than once easily and as a single player narrative experience goes it's probably the best one in a first person shooter that we've had probably since the Bioshock games. And that is my review of Prey. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time.